Hi, my name is Mayhem Star, and this will be my final bit of Call of Duty Sunday content. Promise. I want to talk about skill-based matchmaking first and foremost. Um, you'll have varying types of games. You'll have the games where you do really well, really poorly, and kind of average. Problem is, you'll have about two games where you do really, really poorly. About four games where you do kind of average. And two games where you do really, really well. The problem with that cycle is that number one, it's not genuine. It doesn't feel real. All your matches feel really gimmicky. It feels like uh, you've been matched against bots. Some people have absolutely zero awareness, no clue what they're doing. They stand in the corner, they don't look at you. They have FOVs of literally zero. They're blind. Blinder than a bat. Now in those types of games, I've had one recently, if I can pull it up. I got like a 27 KD. 27 to 1 death, essentially. 27 kills, 1 death. And if you have a look at my teammates, their KDs are like really, really, really low. So in the games where you're doing really well, you can expect that your teammates will be doing really, really poorly. So essentially what happens is if you do, if the game considers that you'll do well after a while, or that you've been doing particularly kind of average or poorly, it'll purposely stick you into a game filled with absolute brain dead people, essentially. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing, gives you an opportunity to shoot some bots, but first and foremost, they kind of expect you to carry that game. Now, now that I'm talking about carrying games and winning games, the first step to actually enjoying Call of Duty in general nowadays, especially Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, is to not care about winning. The objective, your objective should not be winning, it should be getting as many kills as you can, and enjoying the game for what it is. Spawn, die, get kills. Spawn, get kills, die. Spawn, get kills, die. If for any reason that you're thinking about an objective, like, um, I don't know, stealing tags, getting on point, anything like that, you're immediately starting to lose fun. So when you start losing, and I know there's a lot of people out there who really care about winning, those people who really care about winning, they get really pissed, and they get really upset, and they start blaming their teammates. The only people trying to carry the game, like really, really try to carry the game. And they're not having fun. Me, on the other hand, I'm having fun because I don't care. I'm just running around killing people. I get tons of people going, Oh, you're literally not even on point, you're just camping point. You're standing off point, shooting people who are running towards point. Well, great for me, because then I get kill streaks, right? That's fun. Kill streaks are fun. But... People who don't get kill streaks, people who are too busy trying to get points, they won't get kill streaks. They won't get points. They're just going to be mad. So why play in that way? Why play the objective when all you're going to do is die more often than you're going to get killed? Why would you want to do that to yourself? Why spend? And my overall, my overall argument is why spend a hundred dollars on hundred Aussie? Why spend a hundred Aussie dollars on something that's going to make you upset? Right? Just get kills. If you're playing the game for anything but kills, you're an idiot, and you're gonna get yourself really frustrated, really upset. I'm sure you have a 9 to 5, you come home, you wanna open up Call of Duty, you wanna win a game. Don't think about winning, think about just getting kills. Play games like Domination, Hardpoint, uh, uh, I don't know, Control or something. Play those games specifically, because people aren't out, or at least the majority of people aren't out to kill you. The majority of them, are out to capture points, and because their mindset has been shifted, you're at more likely chance to get more kills because they're not actively hunting you. So you have better games and you'll end up being happier. So that's my first thing to say about Call of Duty. Um, second one, DMZ. DMZ has no meaning whatsoever and I find it difficult to understand why some people put so much emphasis on it. It's like, oh my god, DMZ, we gotta get in, we gotta kill players. What do you get from it? I, I don't know. What do you get from DMZ? XP? What does the XP lead to? I, I don't know. Got cosmetics? But the cosmetics aren't even that good. There's a reason why Apex does really well. There's a reason why Fortnite does really well. It's because the XP that you gain gets you cosmetics. It gets you things that actually look good. It gets you things that, quote unquote, matter more than the Call of Duty rewards. Right? In Apex, every 10... 10, maybe 20 on the free, 10, 20 levels on the free battle pass, you get Apex coins. Play maybe two or three seasons and you can play the Apex 
um, you can play the Apex Battle Pass, or pay for it really, in in-game currency, completely for free. Once you do that, all you have to do is just level 10 times through the Battle Pass, right, every single season, and you get more Apex coins, rinse, repeat that cycle, you get tons and tons of coins, you get to play the, the, the Battle Pass for free. Call of Duty isn't the case, you've got to pay real money, 50 bucks for that. So DMZ, I don't know why people care about it, I don't know why people, you know, tr like super try hard on it, I usually just use it to gain XP for my guns. In fact, all I play Call of Duty 4, besides getting kills, is to gain XP for my guns, and to gain XP for my guns, I need to get kills. So it's a really simple feedback loop for me. I don't care about you, I don't care about the objective, I just want kills so I can level my guns. I don't care about my XP, I don't care about my KD, I don't care about any of it. Second thing, uh, Warzone. Uh, meaningless. It's one of the worst battle royales I've ever seen in my entire game, simply because it removes the... It removes the luck factor. The second you get your hands on your own uh, loadout is the moment the game becomes very, very skewed towards who has the meta loadout. Versus games like Apex, Fortnite, so on and so forth, you get given what you've got. Or rather, you get given what the game gives you. There's no, oh, I want to switch my gun out for something I'd rather have. No. Well, yes, you could. You have to go and find it. But the second you find the supply drop in, in Modern Warfare, Immediately, you can have the set meta gun that you wanted to bring into the game in the first place, like that 50 cal with the sniper uh, with the bolt action, that 50 cal sniper rifle bolt action. That that gun is literally hit scan, right? Quite literally hit scan. If you spec it correctly, of course. Um, and then all you need is you know a bit of luck, and that's it. So I don't see why Warzone is even good. That's it. That's really it. So if you're going to play Call of Duty or buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, say within the next year or two before the next COD comes out and you can make a decision as to whether or not you want to buy that one, I would suggest you think really hard about what you want from this game. You think really hard and go, am I here to win? Am I here to get kills? Am I here to enjoy myself? Or am I here to just get really angry, blame my teammates, blame myself, blame the game, blame the guns? Think about that really carefully. Apart from that, that's my review of Call of Duty. Don't buy it unless you have no, uh, well, unless you have spare money, I guess. <laughs> I'll have to edit this one thoroughly. We'll see how it goes. My name is Mayhem Star. That's my very base review of this game. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.